Winter in the prairies. Cold, white, freezing. But the perfect weather for hot chocolate. Sledding down hills, snowball fights, and stories. We would sit by the fire, and Daddy would tell us stories. Some from long ago, some from last week. My favorite were about the animals. Makwa, Maingan, Wawa Shkeshe, and the mysterious Megitsi. And I could hear them as if they were outside my doorstep, singing proudly. Do you hear what I Cinderella. That helpless bitch? 
No. Mm, Mulan? Good one. No. Fantasia? Haven't seen it. What? Unreal. Everyone always says that to me when I see that. Because it's only the best Disney movie ever. No, I'm pretty sure my favorite is. Which is? No, you have to guess. Bambi? God, no. It is the Christmas season, so Muppet Christmas Carol. Haven't seen that either. Oh my god, you've not lived. Here. Look. Oh, Roger Rabbit! I love this movie. And it has my favorite character in it. Betty, the talking taxi cab. No. Betty. Boop, boop, doo. Adorable. Wanna watch it with me? I'd love to. Great. With wine? But of course. Wine and Disney? Is this the best date in the world? Who knows? It's only just begun. Guess we'll yeah. see. We will, won't we? Oh my god! Sorry, it squeaks. That was more than a squeak! Yeah, it's pretty obnoxious, isn't it? I wonder if there's a spring broken down there. Probably. Reminds me of those raspberry gums a bit. Oh, classy wine expert. Not really. It's all a big fraud. Well, this better be right, or else I will forever judge your tasting wine, and I may or may not ever trust you. Oh no, so much on the line. So you better be right. I'm always right. No, I'm always right. Are you right about that? Never been wrong. I'm right as rain. Whatever that means. That is weird saying. I wonder. Sorry, I just ignored after a while. Oh my god.
Easier access. Right. It's my director. 
Can you pause for a second, babe? Sure. Hey! No, it's okay, I'm just at home. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, it didn't work out that way. Right. I, I, I swear tomorrow's run will be... Right. Okay. But... Okay. I, I'm sorry. Really, I'm sorry. I... 10 a.m. tomorrow. Okay. I'll be there. Bye. Everything okay? I guess my scene wasn't good at all today. He just told you that now? <laughs> he was too busy at the end of rehearsal. That's pretty shitty of him to spring that on you now. He can be such an asshole sometimes. What do you want? I'm called earlier tomorrow to go over my scene. It can't have been that bad. Well, it was. To him, but you felt good about it. It doesn't matter. If he doesn't like it, then I have to change it. So, you'll go tomorrow and show him the best you can offer? I guess. You will. You're a great performer. You've never seen me perform. I just know you'll be good. But I have to be better. I have to prove to him that I'm worthy of being in that room, and then maybe what? I... What? Nothing. Okay. Let's just forget about his dumb, opinionated, selfish way of directing. Jocelyn? Yeah? Why did you tell me you're at home right now? I didn't say that. You did. You said you're at home right now. I didn't say that. You did. I'm here at my boyfriend's house. <laughs> I can't say that. Gabe. Gabe, we used to see each other. You and this director? Yes, we broke up over a year ago. Isn't that dude like 15 years older than you? So what? That's kind of creepy. I shouldn't have told you. No, no, glad you did. <laughs> now you're judging me because I dated this creep 15 years older than me who chewed me up and spit me out and now is directing me in this stupid play and he still wants to be with me and still makes me uncomfortable. Jocelyn, and... I have no idea. That's an awful situation to be put in. What about us? What about us? Does this right here matter to you? Yes, yes, very much. It matters to me. This is our future. I don't know. I like you a lot. I like you a lot too. I'm here for you. And in no time, you'll be on to your next show and he won't bother you again. The theater community is small. He can't follow you around forever. <laughs> yes, he will. I won't let him. There's nothing you can do. He will always be there to pass to me. Do you know what the last thing he said to me was? Jocelyn, you'll never have your shit together. And here he is reminding me, I still don't have my shit together. Gabe, you don't know half the things he said to me. The names he called me, the way he used my body, took advantage of me, manipulated me into loving him. I'm so angry at him, and even to this day, I can't stand up to him. I'm here for you. <laughs> do it. You'll just run away. You'll get you'll get sick and tired of me, like everyone else, and or I'll just push you away. All I ever do is push people away. You will not push me away. I'm not worthy of being loved. Yes, you are, Jocelyn. Let me stand beside you. You'll just run away. No, I won't. We'll do this together. Promise. Promise. Boop boop be doop. You hear that, Manga? I don't like that sound. Me neither. It sounds like my stomach if it had an angry face. I can smell something too. Me too. Coming from way over the field. Your nose is amazing. You're better at saving food than me. <laughs> that is the Marple way. What do you think that smell is? Something bad. I'm worried it's coming from our boy. That's my worry too. Keep an extra close eye on today. Good plan. Mikitsi, I come to you for question. Your eyes see all, your ears hear all. This is my gift too, but mine are not as keen as yours. How do I grow my gifts? Are you challenging me to listen hard enough? To see hard enough? Why do you not speak to us? Oh no! He's coming, what are we gonna do? I better warn the little one. I guess my ears are working just fine. Aqua baby, 
Isha, babe. Well, you survived. You did okay? Oh, yeah. Now he loves you. Good, great. Felt like my stomach was going to turn inside out before I'm meeting them. You did great. Phew! Thank goodness. I think I'm going to have a glass of wine. Would you like one? Oh, God, no. Did you see how much wine I drank? Yeah, your brother wouldn't let you have an empty glass. I hate him. He's always, he's always forcing me to keep up with him. He's always tell him no. What man ever takes no for an answer? carbonation at all of us. Sorry, it's running out. Would have been the same if you just used tap water. Do you want tap water? No, it's fine. Do you want anything else? No. Do you want to go to bed? No. Yes. I, I don't know. We can watch a movie for a bit. Not in the mood right now. I can make us some snacks. I don't need anything. Sorry. Can you come here? Why? Please, can you just come here? Sit with me. Hold me. Thank you so much. Gabe, what do you like about me? You're funny. Sweet, dedicated, outspoken, gentle. Okay. Why? You saw my mom tonight. I'm more like her. Rude, demanding, perfectionist, easy to snap. I don't see that in you. I don't want to scare you away. I, I want you to feel safe with me. And I do. And... talking, but I think I'm falling in love with you. And I want you to love me too, but all I ever do is push people away. All I'll ever be is worthless. You're worth everything to me. You mean that? Every word of it. So what if we have a few moments? I'm here for you. You're the best. It's the selection committee for that anthology I submitted. And? What? They want to publish it? Oh, no way! They want to publish my piece! That is wonderful, babe. But they say they want it longer, say it doesn't go deep enough. What does that even mean? Who knows? Maybe it's really time I wrote out what's happened in my family. All of it. 
This has to be a sign. I'm meant to confront this part of me. You're meant to confront this part of you. Like when Eddie Valley finally confronts his brother's killer. We'll do this together. Me and you. Boop, boop, beat him. Boop, boop, beat him. Got your mind gone? <gasps> you little sneak! And you said I wasn't as cunning as you. And soon I'll outrun you. I'll be faster, more cunning, more sneaky, <laughs> and stronger!
you sure? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is it too much to ask that you at least pretend to be happy for me? I am. Doesn't look like you are. This, no. It's great. This piece of writing about your uncle that they keep asking you to go deeper, it's giving you so much focus, taking up so much of your attention. This could be my big break. It already is. Weren't you asked to do a commission last week? Yes. Great. Look, I know you've been out of work for a while. This has nothing to do with my lack of work. I think it does. I've seen you on stage up there. That is when you look the happiest. I am. So, work's a little slow right now. We'll get through this. I don't see what we has anything to do with this. This is my problem. We're in this together, babe. You can't solve my problem. I won't. I'm not trying to. Mm-hmm. Do you want to leave for the party now? I'm just answering some more quick. Okay. I think this person will have some work for me. Great. In the meantime, look at this. What's that? This is how I'm going to make money between contracts. Powder? Are you into the drugs? <sighs> look at this. I'm going to take a smell seat. 
can't smell him. He's coming closer. I don't want to see him. He can't see us. What? Well, look at him. Do you think he still wants to play with us? He looks mighty serious. I think he's thinking of us. Well, we can see him. Must be. But why can't I smell him? Is it because of smelling her? Must be. Why does she smell like a man? I'm not sure. Mako, Maya, what did Mikiti say? We have to stick together. She's here, Mom God. We should wait. No, do it now. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke! Come on, Slowpoke! 
could roll around in the snow all day, throw it up in the air, toss it at my friend. Hey, not fair. Watch this. <laughs> Missed me. Back here. Now you both have to catch me. And the best part of getting cold is warming up. Running as fast as you can, trying to thaw those warm pink cheeks. Stay warm so the cold doesn't bite. And when the chase is over and I win, not yet you haven't. <sighs> running inside for a nice warm cup of hot chocolate. Letting all the pink disappear as I become nice and toasty. A warm fire, a nice blanket. Maybe watch a Muppet Christmas Carol. I Tim love it. Full of yes, and I'm full of adventure. What are you doing? I was playing with Mark. Aqua. You want your old uncle to show you a real Christmas adventure? All right. All right. Let's get going. We've got a ways to drive. Can't I just have one more run around in the snow? You can do that when we're back. Here. Take a sip. This is your night. Tonight, you're becoming a man. All it takes is one moment, and time is rippled forever. The medicine wheel turns in a new direction. The wind blows towards me and away from you. Like a deer in the headlights, the future is drawn and appears brightly. Beware, my boy. Do you see what I see? I don't like what I'm starting to see. Please don't forget to email me at my business email as typed into the chat. And remember, all orders placed for the next week will receive 20% off. will arrive just in time for your spooky Halloween parties. Are there any questions before we close off? Great. Well, thank you all so much for coming. And if you like our products, remember that signing up to sell them will get you a chance to win a free Lamborghini. <laughs> Until next time, have a sparkly day. <sighs> Good job, babe. You think so? I know so. I'm very proud of you. I, I didn't sound too desperate. Not at all. He says I sound too desperate. Who? Oh, him. Your douchebag director. I thought he would like the products. Why are you trying to sell to that asshole? Anything to make me money. You really think he'll fall for it? Fall for what? Nothing. No, I would like to know what he's going to fall for. Forget I said anything. You still don't like that I'm selling these products. I don't like that you're having this much communication with him. He's my director. Will be your director. He is my director. We've already started rehearsal. When? Last week. No, I thought you told me it was next week. Nope, last week. But I have it written down as next week. Well, you're wrong. I write everything about your schedule down so I don't forget. Is it possible that you made a mistake? That you fucked up? I... Hmm. Well, it's not good enough. It's clearly you're wrong. Fine, I'm sorry. I mean it, though. You did great today. Who cares what once has done says? I thought you were very confident. He's always telling me how phony I sound when I act. Isn't acting a phony profession? You of all people should know this. When you write, is it phony? That writing is. My acting has to be real. It has to come from a very true place. And nothing I do for him is good enough. My acting, my products, the way I treated him. Why do you think so much about how he treated you? Because I can't escape him. Because you keep working with him. Does it look like I have a choice? It's because of... Him and his company that I got into the Actors Union, I worked my ass off and I owe it to them. Not when he treats you like this. You don't get it. You're right, I don't. So help me understand. I've tried to make you understand. I don't feel you have. It's not my job to tell you how to think. I'm not asking you to tell me how to think. I shouldn't have to tell you anything. How else will I know how to support you? You should just know how to support me. Do I not support you? <sighs> Jocelyn, look at me. Do I support you? Right now? No, I don't feel supported That's by you. That's not what I asked. I asked, do you feel supported by me? Not right now. Have uh, you felt supported by me before? Yes. Do you see me trying to support you? I guess. I'm always trying to support you. Do I not support you enough? No. Then what do you need me to do? I don't know! Then how am I supposed to support I you more? I'm about this. Okay. I am ready.
this time, Luigi. I don't think this is a good idea. We're only here because of your silly rat shenanigans. Shh, shh, shh. You hear that? I thought scent was your greatest gift. I hear something this time. Wait, I hear it too. You're right. About what? I should be more supportive. I don't trust this director of yours, but I should trust you. That's a start. Thank you. For what? For making me a better person. For showing me how much I can give. I love you. Jocelyn. Sorry, I don't feel like saying it right now. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not going to say it if I don't have it in me to say it. Did you suddenly stop loving me? Of course not. Then what's the problem? It won't mean anything if I say it now. Why don't you write some more? It's getting louder and louder. I don't hear anything. Nagiti, is this what I'm supposed to investigate? All right, here we go. I don't like this. I still don't understand. Are we here because of the uncle or because of him? Come on, Mako. One day, I will understand you. Go ahead. I can't. No. I don't like this. We have to do it. No. 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 You can do it. No, I can't. That noise is making me scared. I'll do it. Hey. Come on, boys. Christmas time. And you know what that means? Remember that first Christmas I took you out? Your dad finally had the balls to let me. What do you say? Anything else? Nothing. It's just the uncle. But you didn't. What about her? Like the uncle. Rotten medicine and... Is that where the sound is coming from? I think so. Stop saying that! What? Well, I can't see you 
this week. I have a lead role. I am finally not going to screw this up for me. You're going to do great. But I have to be better. I have to be perfect. I have to go deeper and have the best performance I can. And I will. This will be my best work yet. I have to do that. I have to go deeper. I have to focus on me. If that'll help you, that's wonderful. It will. Great. I will be seen by every artistic director in the city. They will all be dying to work with me after this. And then finally I'll be where I need to be. How can I help? There is nothing you can do. Sure there is. I will do this myself. I will prove myself. Okay.
taste pretty nasty, but you get used to it. Do you drink them a lot? Ugh, nah. Seems like it. Not as much as you might think. Dad thinks it's a problem. Your old dad could stand to loosen up once in a while. He's fine. What would he be doing right now? Telling us stories about Makwa, Mayingon, Wawa Shkeshe. You still buy those stories? I like them. Elders used to tell those stories to scare kids. That's all they are. Just stories. Don't take them too seriously. And it's not stories that make you a man. It's nights like tonight. What are we doing? It's a surprise, my boy. A Christmas surprise! What are you looking at? Outside. Just like your dad. Always thinking about something. Come on, boy, what's on your mind? You can do it. Show the uncle who's boss. If you don't stand up for yourself, people will always walk over you. you puff out your fur, stick out your chest. Use your teeth. And then you just hurt the person. Would you rather protect yourself or be eaten? Today is your day, little one. Start running with me. Back off, Wawashkeshe. You are not what he needs. It's time you learn to fight. You have to pace yourself, little one. No. Keep standing on those iron legs. Flash your claws and your teeth. Do not go faster than you think you can. I just want to play with you. Can I chase you? I really would have so much fun chasing you. Who are you talking to? No one. No, it's my turn to keep teeth. Don't bother. She's not going to say anything. Stare all googly on. Come with me instead. Boy! You. What do you want to tell me? Pay attention. Look. We're here. Here. Take this. Wait, wait, be seen done kicking you down. Gotta hold it steady. Nice, strong arms. That's right. Eyes forward. Tonight, forget about those stories. About Makwa, Maingan, Wawa Shkeshe, and... Ah, I forgot the name of the other one. Forget them all. Tonight, just focus on me. I got it. Gabe. Gabe. I think he can hear us. Come on, Gabe. Remember your old pal? He can't hear us. But I think he can sense us. Wait, what's that smell? Oh no, not again. Where were you? Merry fucking Christmas. You were supposed to be at the theater. You told me not to come. I always say that. You always mean it too. I try to keep you safe. Safe from what? You know. Oh, him? Your douchebag director? He's not so bad anymore. So let him see you after the show. He does. Then there's a secret between us, and even a little secret can go into bigger ones. Thousands. 
And there's so many people told me no. Now I'm the one saying no to offers. I'm the one finally saying no. Jocelyn. How many people do you think is going to read this anthology of yours? What do you think it's going to do? Jocelyn, this oh. memory of my uncle. Writing about it is going to unlock something with my ancestry. I am so glad you were born again indigenous. But did you ever stop to think it would be just that reading? This is my story about my history. Why do you go on about your history and your ancestry? Shouldn't should it all lies matter? Shouldn't real work be universal? That's it. Now hold it up. Nice and steady. Eyes forward. That a boy. Oh, hey, Marco, he's the boy again. Shh! Don't let him hear us. What's going to happen? You remember. Yes, yes, I do. We just have to. This isn't you. I know the real you. I've always seen the real you. This isn't her. Yes. Yes, it is me. I am done being taken advantage of. I am done being walked over. I'm going to bite back before I get bitten again. What happened to you? I'm finally me. You're so much more than this. Stop telling me what I am. Stop pushing me away. I love you. I never loved you. I never even liked you. Now you don't have anything to say. I thought you always had something to say. <laughs> I can't stand how much you talk. The way you go on and on with my family. The way you talk to me on the phone. I hate it. That's not true. It is. And that was incredibly hard for me to say. Nothing ever seems incredibly hard for you to say. Gabe, I... I, I, I do care about you. How? Excuse me? How can you care for someone and not even like them? Because that's who I am. <laughs> you are hilarious. You're turning into your uncle. Kingdom days get day, na? Way way me busy in the geeky mudao. Said the night wind to the little man. Do you hear what I hear? Deeper into the forest. The whole time I'm carrying this gigantic thing in my arms. Strong arms, Uncle keeps saying. So it's getting colder and colder. But I wouldn't give to go tackle Mako once again, to have my Ingan come chasing me. No. What I think I really would like is to go running with Wawa Sheshe. Not a fast run, but a brisk little jog. Pace myself. But I can't. Uncle keeps making sure I'm going faster and faster. The whole time this gun I'm carrying keeps getting heavier and heavier with every step. The wind starts and the snow. And as we trudge through the thick bushes and trees, the snow piles around us and dances in our faces, our cheeks red with winter excitement and adventure. Where are we going, Uncle? Tingling 
inside of my palm. I'm not gonna let you criticize me anymore. Sit down. No, you are finally gonna hear me out. Do you hear what I hear? You have spent this entire relationship criticizing me. It didn't start out like that. It's always been like that. Is that all you're going to take from me? That I've never been good enough that you leave me like everyone else? Yes. Fuck you. No. There you go again. Maybe there's a reason people treat you like this, or that they, people always leave you. Did you ever think of that? Have you ever considered how much of my time, my focus on my writing, my entire sense of self I gave up just to please you? Because I love you! Or did you enjoy being controlled by that ex-douche of yours pretending to care about your acting career? All you ever did was take advantage of you. Take advantage of you. <laughs> situation unless you bite them back first. And I don't need him. And I don't need you anymore. I am the one finally saying no. The smell of rotten medicine wails through the air. What you see shines in the clear. For one small burst of time, the land's grant you a sign. And I hear my uncle whisper something. Quietly now. Cock it. Aim it up slowly. Oh no. And raise it up towards the tree. Nice. Game is on again. A lover or a friend? You took advantage of me. A big thing or a small? You used me. The winner takes it all. Now it's your turn. You used me. Let it out, boy. And I knew it too. I put up with it because I love you. I think I love you. You think? I, I don't know. I don't know. Shut up, you asshole. No, I'm not gonna let you speak to me like that. You ate my compassion until I had nothing left. Yes, and all with that. Why? Has it been so hard for you to think about me? Did you ever think about how much I was giving? How much energy I was putting into you? Did you ever stop for one moment to consider what I was doing for you? No. Because I'm a selfish bitch, you're better off without me. Sorry, do it. My uncle says I have to shoot it. Don't do it. He says this will be our big holiday feast. No. I can't do it, Uncle. Come ah, on, do it. Are you hungry? It would be a big feast. And for some reason, I still love you. Beware the consume. When you see it, it is all you see. Do you see what I see? Nothing ever truly ends, except when it is consumed. End is certain for those who consume. The spirit that hears and listens only to consume is the one who will be lost. Time bends to no one's favor. Past bends back to the future and bends into who you are. Whatever animal you feed is the animal you become. Once, we animals watched over you, played with you. We made you smile just the way you made us smile. I miss that. It's been gone for a long time. And now we can barely watch out for ourselves. Once in a while, someone will see, but we're most hungry for the beast. The wisest know to walk slow. And to pace themselves. And to care for gentleness. Never running faster than the spirit allows them to. I'm here to be hungry. I wonder how it will taste. Pretty delicious, I bet. It was a long time ago without food. Killing my first animal. What a winter adventure! You let a beast attack you! I cannot imagine my life without you in it. I hunger for the passion we have. You must never become anyone's prey! I don't say I love you just to anyone. I crave the life I know we can have. Why are you hungry? Dave, what are you going to do? Now will you run with me? No way me is to return to where you came.
I'm growing. I'm making a name for myself. Don't become the hunted. Haven't I given enough to you? I don't need anything. I can give more. We can keep growing together. If you're going to get killed, you have to use your teeth. I got what I needed from you. I'm good. Get the fuck out now! Consume your own identity? You'll never know me. You'll never hear me or see me. And it falls to the ground. Flat. Like the earth was once upon a time. And later on tonight, we'll roast it. Consume it. Eat it. It's spirit devoured by mine. And then what? And now what? <laughs>